What's going on, guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost. And after Alec Baldwin decided to do that interview with George Stephanopoulos, a complete PR move to try to explain his story about what happened on the set of Rust, where he contradicted himself multiple times, ended up deleting his Twitter account, and trying to play the victim on Instagram with his wife, Hilaria, it has been a complete and utter disaster. And now, interestingly enough, one person who was backing Alec Baldwin, who is also facing some serious problems and implications from what happened on the set of Rust, is now being forced to talk to investigators because he's been avoiding them for months. You remember, Alec Baldwin on Rust shooting, someone is responsible, but I know it's not me. He got some backup from someone that was kind of unexpected, the assistant director, Dave Halls. Alec did not pull that trigger. Rust assistant director backs up Baldwin's claim about shooting. It's important to note it was his lawyer speaking. It wasn't his actual words. And in fact, it was strange because a lot of people had never heard that part before. In all these things and all these testimonies, they had never heard him say that. And it was only when him and Alec Baldwin and a few others are now wrapped up together in this lawsuit and trying to shift all of the blame that he came out and said this. What was interesting even more to some people was this. Russ, first assistant director, ordered by judge to stop avoiding OSHA. And what they're specifically talking about is the Occupational Safety and Health Association. I believe, if I still remember, I think that's what it's called. They have investigators that are doing an investigation onto what happened. And David Halls has been dodging them. He has been avoiding them. Shockingly, someone who's been saying all these things to defend Alec Baldwin that we had never heard before is avoiding investigations. Weird how that happens, isn't it? Rust assistant director subpoenaed must interview with investigators. The Rust assistant director who handed Alec Baldwin the gun that fired on the film set in October must sit down for an interview with state investigators. New Mexico District Court Judge Brian Beadshed, I, I don't know how to say that name, granted a request from the state's Occupational Health and Safety Bureau of the Environmental Department to issue David Halls a subpoena. Investigators had previously detailed in search warrants how Halls grabbed the gun from a cart, then yelled cold gun to indicate it was safe as he handed it to the low-budget Western's lead actor on October 21st. The gun was fired by the actor Alec Baldwin. We know what happened to Helena Hutchins, that poor soul uh, who has left a husband and a child behind while Alec Baldwin tries to blame her and tries to play victim for himself. What an absolutely despicable human being and obviously injured the director, Joel Souza. Halls did not believe the gun was loaded, according to investigators. Safety officials have tried to interview Halls twice since November 2nd, but he declined both times. His attorney said he would not agree to an interview until the criminal investigation into the incident is complete, a compliance officer wrote in an affidavit in support of the subpoena request. Now, if you are telling the truth, why would that matter at all? If you're not trying to hide anything, if you haven't made any statements that are completely contrary to what actually happened to the press in order to back up Alec Baldwin, who you and many others are now in bed with in a massive, massive lawsuit that could bankrupt you for life. Maybe David Halls is placing all of his hopes on the fact that Alec Baldwin can try to spin this in public. Now, it's not going to work. That interview was a complete and total disaster for Alec Baldwin. Of that, there is no doubt. But maybe that's why he's so reluctant to talk to more people, because maybe he knows he's changing his story. The application for the subpoena said that an interview with Halls is necessary because as assistant director, he was responsible for set safety and knew who was present and who had come in contact with the weapon. Now, this was supposed to take place yesterday. I have seen no indications. I've seen no additional reporting that it did take place. I'm not sure. This story is a few days old. Uh, so he was actually supposed to meet them in order to meet with them yesterday. But there really hasn't been any updates when it comes to this. And again, we get into the very conflicting reports. In a previous interview with Fox News, Hall's attorney, Lisa Taraco denied her client had handed it to Baldwin. The idea that my client grabbed it and handed it to Baldwin absolutely did not happen, she said, before backtracking and dodging follow-up questions. The armorer brought it in. The armorer opens it. Halls didn't load it. So again, 
Dave Halls clearly to me has been changing his story around over and over and over again to fit whatever narrative Alec Baldwin is trying to push because we have seen Alec Baldwin try to use the other members of the staff and crew as puppets. Look, look at, they say that they didn't have a bad time. It couldn't have possibly been any bad conditions on set. These few people said it without any pressuring for me. Oh, look, Dave Halls, the guy that I specifically was blaming, the guy that I was retweeting articles about. Well, now that we're both being sued and we're in the same boat, now we're together on this. Now he's backing up my claim. This is absolute and total garbage, and it's obvious to everyone right now. Now, what remains to be seen is if he will actually meet with investigators, what he might tell them, and if he changes his story once again. But I don't think there's any doubt that a lot of this had to do with Alec Baldwin's terrible interview that he did. That's a big reason why Dave Halls has continued to change his story, shift his story, and shift blame into different places. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.